Now, this nonprofit is battling veteran homelessness by building new homes. We want to take you there and show you a look at this story. Thousands of veterans in our country struggle with housing security every day. But today in Lincoln, a community came together and built a new home from the ground up and even furnished the inside to give a veteran a place to live. Gentlemen, if you will, please post the flags. Oh, say can you see? More than 100 people lined the streets of Lincoln Sunday to greet their new neighbor as he moved into his new home. Uh, I've been a builder for 28 years. Mike Lawrence runs 2 by 4s for Hope, a nonprofit that builds tiny homes that make a big difference. We have our chronic homeless veterans, which is about 48,000 on any given night, and that's a U.S. statistic. He says far more veterans are at risk like Army veteran Scott Jackson, who was facing a pile of medical bills. Last year's been, been really rough. It's health-wise, it's gotten worse last year. Soon, he feared he would be without a place to live. That was until dozens of volunteers went to work building him this new home. I started when they put the concrete down, and that's all I volunteered for. And then I got interested and stayed with it. Why? I just good cause. It's kind of touching. Gene Hassebrock is 77 years old. He served in the Army 20 years before Jackson would enlist, but still felt a duty to look out for his fellow soldier. They need help, and I think we ought to support them. He was one of dozens of volunteers to help build this 576 square foot home in seven days. When he walks into this house in just a few minutes, it's going to be the first time that he's seen the inside since it was just in two by fours. Before they showed him inside, his neighbors wrapped him in a quilt of valor and in hugs. There are thousands of women and men across this land that are forever in your debt. And then gave him the keys to his new home. Walking in, I, I was just amazed, overwhelmed, totally overwhelmed. His birthday is Monday, so his family sang and lit candles. He even has pictures up on his refrigerator of his family, friends, and new neighbors. All the signs of home. I only intend to uh, pay it forward uh, to try and help other veterans. And the home of the brave. A new home for the brave there. Two by fours for hope plans to build a new home in Rushville for a veteran next.